everyone how's it going we're back out here in alaska and i can't even begin to tell you how excited i am to be back out here such a wonderful place i absolutely love it out here i'll be out here for the next uh, about two weeks or so and to tell you the truth i've already been out here for two days camping but uh don't worry you haven't missed much in those two days uh it's been very stormy um, so I yeah I got here two two days ago two evenings ago afternoons ago I don't know whatever and uh, I got my camp all set up got my tent all pitched and set up got the old bear fence set up you know just my camp in general got everything all set up and it was incredibly nice weather uh, like pretty calm not really any wind uh, it got really hot there for a little bit and then out of nowhere this just crazy storm blew in and for the last two days i've pretty much been stuck in my tent i made it out a little bit my first evening um, just very briefly and then the rain came in really hard and it's just been raining and raining and raining ever since uh, up until just a couple of hours ago so i was able to make it out this evening a uh, storm finally broke and uh, I was able to make it out with some bears this evening and watch them do a little bit of fishing and that was a whole lot of fun. It's so good to be back out with these bears again and uh, watch them out here fishing. It's just, it's so peaceful and just wonderful out here. I absolutely love it. So uh, this year, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be out here for the next two weeks or so. Uh, it's a total of about 16 days and I've already been out here for the two. So I've got another two weeks and uh, some things this year are gonna be a little bit different than they have in the past. And some things, uh, most everything is gonna be pretty similar to how it's been in the past. I'm just out here looking for any wildlife that I can find. And uh, I'll take you guys along for the, 
the journey and um, you know throughout the trip I'll just kind of tell you guys a couple of things that might be a little bit different this year versus the previous years and if you haven't seen my previous years vlogs out here my videos go check those out uh, I've got different series for each years I, I think I've got uh, two previous years out already and uh, go check those out and uh, yeah I'm just excited to be out here excited to have you guys along with me again this year and I really hope you guys enjoy it's already gonna be a great year I can feel it I've seen a bunch of bears already I counted 27 tonight uh, bears just all around me as I was out with them watching them fish and uh, I've seen a handful of ptarmigan around I actually had some roll through my camp just a couple minutes ago which was awesome and uh, out on my little lake here I've got a decent amount of, of birds out here just kind of swimming around I've got the goals off in the distance I've seen some ravens saw an eagle earlier so it's just gonna be a wonderful wonderful year out here I can already feel it and uh, you know I've got my first sunset starting right now uh, of the year I the last couple nights out here it's been so dismal and overcast that I didn't get any color whatsoever so I'm gonna head up on my little knoll up here and enjoy the sunset a little bit and just enjoy the sights and the sounds and uh, I will check in with you guys in the morning
Good morning. I slept so well last night. That was incredible. There's something about being out here. I always sleep incredibly well when there's not a lot of wind. It's the opposite. If it's really windy, I'll get maybe like an hour of sleep <laughs> at night. But the nights when there's not a whole lot of wind, I sleep so well. That was fantastic. Much, much needed. Beautiful morning out here. It's still pretty cloudy, but the winds died down for the most part. There's a couple of rain clouds off in the distance, but I've even got some blue skies over here, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna get some breakfast and uh, go see what I can find this morning. It sounds pretty quiet out there now. I don't hear a lot going on, but uh, you know, that doesn't mean that there's not animals to find out there. So I think I'll start by uh, kind of just hiking along the river, seeing if I can find any bears that are fishing. And then I think I'm going to head out onto the tundra this afternoon to go see if I can find any bears or ptarmigan or anything out there. This is a huge area. And even though I've come here year after year and explored each year, there's just so much of this area that I need to explore still. So I think I'll spend some uh, some time today, a good amount of time today, just kind of exploring. So I'm gonna get my breakfast, get my contacts in, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I already see some bears over here in the distance. Um, probably like, 200 yards from my camp. They're actually headed this way. Maybe they smell my oatmeal. I don't know. <laughs> so anytime you're camping in bear country, there's some very important things to remember uh, relating to food, to how you set up your camp, where you set up your camp, where you do your cooking, just bear safety in general. Uh, last year before my trip out here, I actually put together a video that talks about all the logistics of a trip like this how to stay safe in bear country, and uh, how not to attract bears to your camp, different things like that. So if this is a type of trip that you're interested in, or even just an extended trip, planning the logistics and stuff, go check out that video. There's, I think there's some useful information in there, so go check it out, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, in that video as well, I talk a lot about gear, and uh, some of my other videos as well. I talk about gear, the gear that I bring on a trip like this, and that's actually something a little bit different that I'll be doing this year versus previous years. Uh, generally in previous years, I just bring like ridiculous amounts of camera batteries with me. We're talking like 30 plus camera batteries to last me my time out here. And I did the same thing this year, but uh, this year I actually also brought a solar panel uh, I backpack a lot and I generally bring a solar panel with me, but out here it's always just so moody and overcast and rainy that I haven't, haven't had much use for solar panels in the past, but I recently got a new solar panel that I thought I would try out, so I'm going to set it up on my tent before I leave, and then uh, I'll just let you guys know what I think about it, if that's something that you guys are interested in, is the backpacking, all the gear and stuff that I, I bring with me. I'll let you guys know what I think of that solar panel at the end of this trip. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, Anchor is how you pronounce the brand, but it's a brand that I haven't tried before. They just get really good reviews online, this specific panel, and it supposedly even works in overcast weather like this. Not as well, obviously, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it works. I've never used it before, so uh, I'm going to try it out this trip, see how I like it, and uh, see if it gets me through. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I've also got a link to a pretty comprehensive gear list in the description below. I'll put the, the link to that. Um, it links back to my website and like I said, I've got a pretty, pretty comprehensive gear list there with links to all the items and brief descriptions and whatnot. So uh, if gear is your thing, go check that out. So 
So I'm out here on the tundra right now. And I've got this little fluffy curious bear that's coming to check me out. When I first came up on it, uh, I had a big old fish that he was trying to protect. They were trying to guard from the seagulls that were hanging around him. They were pestering him. And so he was trying to eat that fish. And, you know, he looked pretty apprehensive, so I, I just kind of went a different direction. And then I sat down here on the tundra to uh, just kind of survey the area. And then I noticed he popped his head out of some bushes not far off and started coming in to check me out. So he's just right over here now, just curiously coming to check me out and see what I am. Um, as curious as he is, I don't think he's gonna get extremely close. Um, but he is sniffing the wind a lot, and bears, you know, they rely heavily on their sense of smell. Their eyesight is about as good as our eyesight is from what I've read but their sense of smell is just infinitely better. It's way better than even a bloodhound's, so they rely very heavily on their smell. So he's uh, trying to just get the best angle with the wind to pick up my smell and see what I am. I might be the first human he's ever seen, I don't know. But uh, these little ones, they can, get, they can get pretty curious sometimes. It's interesting seeing the difference between the bears out here. You know, this guy's very small and blonde and fluffy, whereas most of the bears I've seen this year, they're just very dark. They've all been very dark bears. But this guy's extremely blonde and just fluffy. Looks like a big old teddy bear. <laughs> Maybe they'll come snug with me, I don't know. <laughs> I just love it out here though. I'm gonna keep going once he moves on. I'll keep going and I'll see what else I can find. everyone. I thought it was time for a little update. Today's actually been pretty slow. I was out with that little fluffy teddy bear out on the tundra earlier uh, just for a little while and then he kind of moved on. Lost his curiosity and moved on. And uh, I didn't follow him. He seemed a little bit nervous around me so I didn't follow him at all. Uh, but that was fun. But that's really the only bear I think that I've spent any time with today. There's certainly bears around but the clouds dissipated pretty quick today they you know blew off and um, it's been pretty clear all day and so the light got really harsh really fast late in the morning and all afternoon so there's you know there's plenty of bears around but the lights just been really harsh 
and so I've just been doing more exploring than anything this afternoon. I did a little bit of uh, fireweed photography. I, I love the fireweed. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I like fireweed. Um, so I got some pictures of that. And I had some ptarmigan earlier, just a couple of them, not, not many, not for very long. And then there was this little ground squirrel squawking at me while I was out on the tundra taking a little break. So I got some pictures of him. I've seen him in previous years. I've just never really photographed him before, but he was yapping at me. So I thought it was kind of fun to get some pictures of him. But overall, it's been a pretty slow day. I headed back to camp this afternoon. Fish behind me. Um, got some water filtered replenished there and then uh, I rearranged my solar setup which has actually been working really well so far I checked on it when I got back to camp this afternoon and it seems to be working really really well and uh, so I got that rearranged got some dinner and then I hiked all the way out here this area is pretty far from my camp this is usually about the farthest I go out here but the reason I come out here is I've got all these mountains back here you can probably see them in the background I've got all these mountains and if I can get a bear fishing in this river back here and there's certainly enough fish but if I can get a bear fishing here I can get those mountains as a backdrop and it is just gorgeous you know I was with those fishing bears last night and there were a lot more of them in that stretch of river but there's really no backdrop to work with it's just like shrubs and bushes um, so, you know, I can always photograph bears in that area, but anytime it's sunny like this, I try to make it down here, because if I can photograph a bear here, it, it, some of my favorite pictures from years that I've been out here have been in this stretch of river right here, when I can get the mountains behind, and just that golden, beautiful evening light when it hits, it's just, it's so pretty. So the chances out here are a lot slimmer of running into bears, but it's worth it for me. So who knows, maybe I just hiked out all the way out here for nothing this evening. But uh, you know, I'm just enjoying my time out here. And if a bear does show up, it's gonna be fantastic. So I'll wait about another hour and a half out here. And then I have to start heading back to camp, even though I've still got about three and a half hours until it's dark enough where I don't feel comfortable hiking um, it takes a while to get back to camp so I'll uh, be patient and just enjoy the salmon and the river and the beautiful flowers and just enjoy my time out here <laughs> 